Well, hello, this is KA4PMV. Uh, this morning we're going to be checking out some of the uh, remote software that lets you uh, get into amateur radio and shortwave uh, without a actually having to have a transceiver uh, at all. Uh, the first one we're looking at here is remote hands. Uh, it's uh, it lets you get into uh, to uh, ham radio stations remotely. It lets you transmit uh, and receive. You do have to have a, a, a license and be approved before you can uh, transmit on uh, on some of the receivers, uh, uh, some of the transceivers that they have uh, set up remotely. Uh, this one here I'm looking at now is remotehams.com. Uh, uh, and uh, you can download the software and install it on your computer if, uh, if you're interested in listening uh, you can just listen but it's a lot of the uh, the, re the remotes on there that don't even allow you to tune unless you're a member of the club and then there is some on there that, uh, that do allow you to tune but you do have to have a, a license if you're going to transmit I, uh, I've been uh, playing around with it a little bit and uh, it uh, it uh, looks pretty interesting. I've got an Australian remote tuned in here now, I believe. Anyhow, this is a remote tin tech that's set up. Uh, and this guy is, uh, is talking there. Again, this is called remote hands. Okay, that's uh, the remote hand software, and uh, there is a. Uh, there's other uh, links and other receivers on here that you can uh, you can get into uh, there. I don't have good enough resolution on this camera, but it lets you click on the no clubs uh, uh, where you can uh, uh, receive there that stations that you don't have to be a club member to get into. And the RX only if you just want to receive only, or TX if you want to TX. And then they got the club only. Uh, anyhow, it's uh, it's pretty interesting if you're uh, uh, in a situation where you don't uh, don't have uh, any uh, means to set up an antenna or anything. It's uh, it's pretty good uh, pretty good uh, uh, program to uh, to have, and. Uh, you can tune around and you do have to ask for permission to tune before you can uh, tune the transceiver. Okay, we'll take a look at another one over here I have set up on another uh, computer here. Uh, this one here is called uh, uh, Web SDR and this is really the best program if you just want to listen because it lets multiple users connect that other one they can remote there that I was just on only one user can uh, can transmit at a time uh, or you can only uh, receive uh, you have to ask for permission to tune uh, and only one user can also uh, tune at a time and this one here this uh, when SDR lets multiple users uh, get on it at, uh, at one time And there's a guy talking on there now. Again, this is Win SDR. I believe uh, if I was just going to listen, you know, the ham radio in short wave, this would be my choice. Because it does have multiple users use the system at one time. Uh, and that's the advantage that this has over the uh, the other program we were just, uh, just looking at there. And... Uh, We'll move over here to yet another program I've been uh, experimenting with. This is called uh, Global Tuners, and uh, this lets you get into just receivers, I believe. Uh, yeah, just receivers. 
and you can listen to local radio stations in different states and stuff as well as shortwave uh, radio. This is pretty interesting too. Uh, it does have a, a latency to it uh, when you're tuning. Uh, I've I've detected on my end that sometimes a, a three, four second latency in tuning, so it's really aggravating trying to tune something in, you know, because uh, because the latency it'll be gone. Uh, you'll be tuning uh, to another station and you won't hear nothing, nothing at all. So you have to you have to kind of pause for a few seconds and wait and let you know the exact you know what the frequency that you're going to go to. Yeah, this this one is a little aggravating but it, once you get the station tuned in it works uh, works quite well uh, and uh, we uh, we've been looking at uh, at that one also it's uh, quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of software around it to uh, let you use shortwave radio and listen to ham radio uh, if you uh, uh, if you uh, have a, if you don't happen to have a receiver where you can uh, where you can listen to it, I was on the um, the 20 meter band there, and it isn't too good with that remote that I'm receiving it from there. Uh, this form is a little uh, a little uh, little aggravating. Uh, Maybe we can try 40 here and see if there's anything on there. I don't know. Okay, let's see. I hear some. Uh, Somebody's trying to talk there on uh, on that there. Sometimes. Okay, this is a good way to listen to amateur radio here with this Web SDR. It's, uh, in my opinion, the best listening program uh, that there is because it does allow multiple users to get on it uh, at one time. And, uh, and it can be a little aggravating if you have to wait for other users, uh, you know, uh, to get off before you can tune the radio or, uh, or transmit. Well, anyhow, I found uh, this pretty interesting. I do have a real ham radio shack here, and I enjoy that also. And uh, a remote or anything else, you know, that uh, that seems to be of, of any kind of interest to ham radio. Uh, we're uh, we're into it there. We use uh, some of these rigs here for uh, the station here set up for our digital PSK31 and JT65HF, and also. Uh, the digital uh, voice uh, that uh, I work sometimes on uh, on 20 meters. And, uh, we also use this station here, this Kentwood here, for uh, uh, for HF voice and digital uh, slow scan TV. We use this one here for that. Uh, we have digital slow scan TV and also analog slow scan TV. And uh, uh, this station we have here, if you can call it a station, it's just a computer here that I use for remote. Where I get into uh, to other uh, amateur radio stations uh, remotely and uh, try to that. Anyhow, it's it's pretty interesting. Uh, to might want to take a, a look and see uh, uh, if anything. Uh, interest you on a shortwave or ham radio or AM or FM radio in other uh, other areas. Uh, 
Well, we do enjoy the hobby. I've been in it for about 35 years. And uh, we also have some real shortwave radio equipment over here. Uh, we have the uh, Grundig there. Uh, it's uh, it's a good uh, good transceiver. And uh, on top there we have a Radio Shack a transceiver. It's a DX392. It's uh, that's BFO on it, so you can receive sideband and CW on that one. Okay, we'll say 73. Uh, glad you took a look around the shop here this morning. And uh, we demonstrated a little bit of uh, digital uh, stuff that's on the internet there. And I hope you uh, interest you there a little bit. I'm not uh, too good at uh, at uh, at broadcasting, but uh, I guess I may get a little bit better in it. <laughs> As time goes on, so we thank you for taking a look around here. 73, this is KA4 PMV uh, here in Virginia, the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia, the Blue Ridge Mountains, between two mountains here, the Blue Ridge and the Massanutten, 73s.